Don't forget about the camera, Dave. His Mike Alt. Oh, Shaw. Ball rolls off of Shyla Sherwood's foot out of bounds. Be Buckaroo Ball. That's Deanda. Right side to Clark. Brings it up top. Gives to Keith. Has it knocked away. Ball loose. Picked up by Sherwood. Neto up the middle. Right. Looks into Florence. Right. Picks up her dribble. Gives to Chandler Rose in the paint. Shot off left side. Rebound Brittany Keith for the Buckaroos. So Deanda at the line, shooting two. First one's good. This is the second. I thought she made the first. I just listened to the PA announcer. Must have missed it. Never mind. Psych. Huh. Sherwood. Nice give and go to right. Out of bounds off of Mary Bay. The fingertips of Brittany Keith out of bounds. Rose over the top to right. Rose over the top of the basket. Rebound Florence and she'll go to the line shooting one. So two and one opportunity for yeah, Tia yes. Florence. Makes her foul shot. Pass into Chadwick. Clark. That's Keith. Trap by the Tigers. Ball taken away by Neto. Throws it out ahead of Sherwood. Chadwick gets down there, and they're going to get Sherwood with the travel. Good hustle by Chadwick to get down the floor. And Break up that play. Mary Bay set the inbounds. Gives it to Keith. Keith up the middle. The Deanda. That's Chadwick. Drives right. The end in the corner. Three point shot up. Over the rim. Out of bounds. Other direction. Shyla Sherwood inbounds to Kennedy Neto. Neto drives down. Scoops with her left and scores. Kennedy Neto for two. Deanda. Pass from Clark to Deanda. Chadwick drives baseline. And Bay, a lot of contact, no call. And they're going to get uh, Sheeran. Neto drives down, steps, and shoots and scores. Neto. 
So Neto and Florence on the board for the Tigers. Let's take a look at Monticello. Six and four in region. Timeout Monticello. Shot off the mark, taken away by Neto. Rose underneath to Sherwood. I don't know how that pass got there, Dave. Yeah, that pass was on the money. Nine to zero, 439 to go in the first quarter. Sheehan with the with the screen. And uh, pick and roll there. Gets it and uh, knocked out of bounds off the Tigers. Come on, well, you can do our, you can be our studio crew. Down to Clark. No, that's Clark, 23. Gets Keith, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Rose cuts it back in the middle, all alone underneath. Oh, just can't get it up on the glass. And rebound to Deonda. Deonda? D or Day? Deonda, huh? Keith? To uh, Clark. Clark. Clark tipped away by Rose. And Rose comes out of there with it. Hits Florence over to Sherwood. Sherwood spots up off from the rim. Rebound Chadwick. Chadwick. Keith, in the corner. Two point basket. Two. Didn't give her three. Looked like, you know, that line, I mean, from this angle, that line completely disappears for me in that corner, Dave. Yeah, it does. Well, it's so light, you can't see it. Right to Neto. Florence catches, shoots baseline, bottom of the rim. Rebound, Bay. That's Sheeran, Bay, Clark. Clark drives in. A lot of contact. Neto was set. <laughs> and Clark, Clark will go line shoot too. Got Davis. A lot of contact on that shot, but no whistle. Yeah. Davis and Denny set to check in for the Tigers and. Can't quite tell on the. I think that's down. I think we called down on that three, but I think it was Keith. Well, you, I think you got Keith. Shot off the back of the iron. Rebound Davis. Danny wide open baseline right side. Looking back into Neto. Neto for a guard posts up really well, Dave. She'll go in there. Davis inside travels. She needs to have, she needs to learn to use that power dribble. <laughs> I'm thinking in the station last night, I was thinking it was told the Tigers good job, and I was thinking it was Kennedy Neto, but I think it was her little sister, Bailey Neto. <laughs> they look just alike. Oh, do they? Yeah, I think I missed that one. Oh, here. I'm sure they. Uh... I just said, I can wonder. That was the Neto. That's Chadwick. The floor. Clark. Bay. Baseline. Bounce pass taken away by Davis.
Taken away by Chadwick. Goes coast to coast. Rolls off the front of the rim. Rebound Sherwood with the trailer. Has a trailer. Rose goes the other way. Contact. So they'll count the basket. Rose at the line, shooting one. It's good. Chadwick. Clark, uh, no, that was to, now that's Clark. That was Keith to Clark. Clark loses the handle. One eighteen to go, first quarter. Crossover Rose, kicks to Danny in the corner, posts up, Rose. Looking to Davis, Denny, back door, and Rose travels. That would have been a good one, Mike. Clark. To Keith. Clark, Chadwick, Deanda, De De Deonda, Chadwick, Deonda down to Sheehan. Rose drives down through the paint, splits defenders, misses, gets her own rebound, put back. And that'll do it for the first quarter. 12 to 5, Milford Lady Tigers on top. Neto. Kicks to Rose. Neto and Chadwick hit the floor. They just get tied up. Sherwood. Ball tipped away by uh, Keith. Keith. Denny looking into Neto. Neto spins. That's Davis, sorry. Well, she did. That would have been a great post move. She reverse pivots, bring the ball back low. Yeah. To go baseline, just can't get that ball through there. Pass over the top. That'll be picked up by Chadwick out of bounds off the Tigers. That's a heck of a throw. That ball hit at the foul line down here, Dave. 40 yards, 30 yards. Yeah, that's got to be 100 feet, 90 feet. Chadwick underneath. Keith, turnaround jumper in the paint. Good. Rose off of Deonda. Bay in the lineup for the Buckaroos. Neto bounce past Florence. Turnaround jumper from Florence. No good. Rebound Bay. Opposite side. Deonda. Out of bounds off of uh, Denny's leg. Over the top into Chadwick. Keith for three, short. Rebound Chadwick, put back. 
Rebound loose, picked up by Tia Florence for the Tigers. Kennedy Neto. Roll from Sherwood, nice defense by Chadwick. Slips in and defends that pick and roll well. Taken away by Florence. Six minutes to go, second quarter. Is the clock on the screen, Dave, or is it? No, okay. We better make sure we're... Calling the time now. Now <laughs> foul gonna go against Keith, her second foul. And back right in the game for Neto. Over the top to right. Drives in the paint. Kicks to Denny. Denny picks up her dribble. Left side right. Left side right. That sounds kind of confusing, doesn't it? Rose drives baseline. She had a step. Got around her. Just rolls off the front of the rim. Picked up Florence. Denny, 18-footer right wing, rebound. Uh, that's Bay. Brittany, no, that's uh, Mary Bay. Lob over the top to Bay from Chadwick, deflected. Day on. <laughs> you know, Bay just about slipped that screen up high. Yeah. yeah they're getting ready to switch, and she just slipped down the paint. They almost got it. Rose. Over to right. Into Florence. Sherwood. Denny. Buckaroo's just kind of sitting back in that zone. Looks like. Bounce pass into yeah. Florence. Maybe a man to man. Huh? No, it's a 2 3 zone. Denny, three point shot up. Good! Then he gets one to go down. Chadwick. It's over to uh, down Deonda. With uh, Chadwick. High screen by Sheeran. Sharon. Sharon. Rebound to Denny. Denny. Sorry, Dave, I uh, talked over the top of you. And call for kicking the ball. JC Denny matched her season total for three point shots today, Dave. Stop in and give him a call, or uh, if you're coming down to the boys' tournaments two weeks from now. Call and make your reservation today. Holiday Inn Express right here in Richfield. Pass to Neto. To right. Neto crossover defended by Chadwick. Nice help defense by um, Bay. Left Denny open, but Denny unable to convert. Keith. Deonda. Shot Bay. over the top. I know it's going to go off Sharon. Sharon. She ran. Sharon. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> they said that was a typo, I think. Oh, really? Sharon. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Mike. 
It's, it, it's late, Dave. Right in the paint for two. Yeah, right, a good shot. She just pops right up off the dribble and knocks yeah. it down. Up top. Deonda. Chadwick. Bay. Back to Chadwick. Crossover Bay into the paint. Kicks out there to Sharon. Chadwick drives down. That foul's going to go on Sherwood. Not sure. Two shot. 22. Shout out to Sherwood. That's Sherwood's second foul. Minute 48 to go in the second quarter. 17 to 7. Milford with the lead. Chadwick shot hard off the back iron. So Rose will check in. Coach Bruff doesn't want to see Sherwood get her third foul in this first half. Minute 48 to go in the second quarter. Chadwick Se shot up snow. Tipped by Bay and Rose able to pull it down. Right set the screen for Rose on the right side and she dribbled left. It's like, man, take the screen, take the screen. Florence off the glass. Four two. Tia Florence. One sixteen to go first half. Off of Chadwick's knee. She looks, looks. Looks. Keith bounce pass back to Chadwick. Shot up. Good. Crossover. Rose. They're going to get De or, uh, Keith on the foul. That'll be the fourth team foul on the Buckaroos. Pass into Tia Florence, just over the rim and rolls out, so soft. It's like slow motion, dude. Yeah. Looked like it was gonna go, drop in. It was a great pass from Meadow to Florence, but the ball just rimmed around a couple of times. And Florence robbed Meadow of a great assist right there. Shame on Yeah. <laughs> Florence has had a good tournament so far. She played some great ball for the Tigers. Last night I was impressed with how uh, how well Florence did defending Toman for St. Joe Jayhawks. 19 seconds, Denny. Ball's gonna go back court. So 12 seconds to go in the second quarter. The Buckaroos with a chance to cut the lead to eight or seven. Or six with a three-point bucket and a foul. Taken away by Florence to Neto. Crossover, drives down, off her toe, out of bounds. 4.4 seconds. And Monticello tried to get up the floor. Gets it into Chadwick. Two seconds. Two. One. She gets it off, but it's a little short. <laughs> After the first half, it's the Milford Tigers 19, and the Monticello Buckaroos 9. Just like that. Pass over the top out of Chadwick's hands. She's able to gain control. Keith, Deonda, 
Bay. Keith at the three point line. Long way around through that defense to get there. Ball knocked away, picked up by Wright. Three on two. Neto floater in the paint and off of Neto out of bounds. Did your wireless go down? Is my, my it kicked me off for a second, but I'm back on now. Which, which one is it? It's the MST. Chadwick in the paint, blocked by Rose. Rebound, or rebound pulled down by Neto. Got away with a little bit of a push off there. Goes by Chadwick. And uh, they're gonna call her on the offensive foul, as, or foul, <clears throat> as Keith stepped over and had position. 6.45 to go, third quarter. Keith lob into Chadwick, taken away by Wright. Underneath Wright, shot up, no good. Rebound Keith. Pressure put on by the Tigers. Chadwick up right side. She gonna get called for travel. She went left and right and stepped and picked up her pivot foot. Right, looks to Sherwood. Bounce pass down to Tia Flores, shot up, partially blocked, rebound Chadwick. Pass ahead to Bay. Deonda, Clark. Crossover as Bay goes to drive and she's fouled by Tia Florence. That's Florence's first foul. I thought that might be her second. Second team foul already in this half. 5.42 to go, third quarter. Deonda. Bounce pass to Clark. Down to Keith, to Clark. Deonda. Bay. Keith, Deonda. Good ball movement by the Buckaroos. Pass into Clark, taken away by Neto. Good defensive stand by the Tigers. Right. Looked into Sherwood. Now Florence on that low block. Over the top. Pass off of Rose. Out of bounds. Rose fell down. <laughs> the ball fell right on top of her. She ran. She ran into the game for Clark. Bay gets around Florence. Help side from Neto. Out of bounds. Davis will check in for Florence. 4.41 to go, third quarter. 19 9. No points scored so far.
Right. Must have a little blood on her somewhere. <laughs> Rose must have some blood on her too. Pass over the top. Deonda. Keith, three point shot, short. Rebound loose, picked up by Bay, tipped away. Good to see you, Dave. It's good to hear your beautiful voice on the radio or on the internet or in my headset. I don't know what it is. I'm a little tired. He's uh, yeah, we've been traveling back and forth. That's uh, it's a long day. Long day. But we hope you're enjoying the games at home or wherever you're at. I guess you could be out on the road. Yeah, you could on the road. Anywhere in the world. Here on MySportsGuys.com, Deseret News. So Neto back in the game. Rose still off. Oh, they got her bandaged up. Danny, left wing, looking in to number 23 for the Tigers. I uh, don't know for sure. Shot up, ball loose on the floor. Danny ties it up. Yeah, I think that's ye, Mike. I think you're right. But bounce pass in just out of the reach of Denny. Or even on this score, Mike, since halftime. Yeah, 339 to go the third quarter. Neither team has scored. Oh. Where'd you go, Dave? Just jerked my headset out of my ears. Gee whiz. I was playing in a game a few years back. We had a tournament in Mesquite, and uh, John Yardley with the radio. Uh huh. He's calling the game as a double overtime game with a uh, uh, hurricane back then, and uh, he got so excited he jumped up. You know, his radio feed was coming through the phone line. He pulled the <laughs> phone line out of the wall. Pass over the top to Bay, and she scores. So that's the first point of any kind. Five minutes into the third quarter by either team. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Pass under Sherwood in the paint. Nice assist from Neto. She drives baseline, picks it up, and kicks it over the top to Shayla Sherwood. Is that Shyla? Shyla, I said Shayla, didn't I? I'm sorry. Because we got a Shaylee and a Shayla. Yeah. By you. Chadwick shot up. No, it's going to be out of bounds. Milford ball. Chandler Rose checks back in. Neto, crossover, kick to Sherwood, off the front iron, rebound Bay, out to Deandra. Chadwick, back to Deandra, takes baseline, she steps on the line. Looked like there was a little, a little bit of a bit bump, of bump right there. Yeah, you get away with that sometimes. Kind of a, Especially when they're looking down at the line. Yeah. I like this official here in the mid-court area. He, I watched a game once where there's four or five kids trying to get in at the end of the game. And Danny in the paint. Foul going to be called on, is that Bay? No. Yeah, Bay. 
Anyways, he, uh, so anyways, these players were trying to get in the game. Time was running out and the clock was going to expire if he didn't do something. So he called an official timeout to tie his shoe. Reached down and untied his shoe, didn't need to tie, tie it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to get those players in. So that was probably one of the classiest moves I've ever seen by an official in a high school game. Yeah. He's a, he's a good guy. He was funny. I run the clock there for the girls' games in Bryce Valley. And he, you know, comes over and talks and wants to know well, everything okay. And Neto off the glass. Good drive by Neto. Clark. Minute 15 to go in the third quarter. Keith. Out to Clark, left side. Bounce pass, nice pick and roll, and she's fouled for two and one opportunity. And that's Sharon with the shot. I think that came from their coach instead of she run, like it is in the program, it's Sharon. Okay. Shot up by Sharon off the rim, rebound to Rose. Kind of tipped by Sherwood. Off to Rose, Rose kicks Danny baseline. Sherwood, back to Danny. Sherwood wanted that shot at the top of the key. Yeah, she did. Nice pass underneath to Neto. That assist from Denny. Over Under a minute to go, 40 seconds in the third quarter. Keith to Clark. Gets a screen, drives into the paint, shoots it up high off the glass. Ball actually hits the floor, picked up by Denny, gives to Neto. 21 seconds to go, third quarter. Neto drives baseline. Has it knocked out of her hands. 16 seconds to go in the third. Neto. Davis open there. Lob over the top. And she's going to be called for the foul. You know, on our angle, it I didn't look like I it couldn't from see, here. but all it takes is just a little bit of an arm extension, and they can call you for that. Pass over the top. Run down by Chadwick. Tipped out of bounds. And he called for the jump ball. Didn't have his, must have had his back to the ball. Yeah. Bay, back to Keith, drives baseline. Two seconds, Chadwick in the paint, high rebound. So after three, 25-13, Milford Tigers with the lead by 12. Fiberlink, the area's fastest broadband. If you're sitting home watching these games and they're buffering a little bit, or you know, you might want to boost that internet speed up a little. Pass into Tia, tipped away, and you'd be surprised that you know, going from a dial-up connection or a low DSL to a little like five megs, which is a big, big difference. Um, it's really not going to cost you that much more. So give uh, South Central Communications a call and have them uh, upgrade your internet speed. You know what I found, Mike? Uh, my house, my kids have an iPod. <laughs> yeah. It's connected. I've got a computer that's connected, an iPad, a Netflix connected, Roku thing. And so all of a sudden we've got. And there's probably not just one of your kids that has an iPod connected. I know. So, you know, there's 10 or 15 things on this network, and one meg speed just isn't enough. No, no. Yeah, you, know, you got to get that bumped up. Neto drives baseline. Yeah, their phone number, 888-826-4211. Tia Florence, Rose, Danny. Yeah. You know, Mike, if you're curious of what your internet speed is, 
Go on to their South Central's website, S O C E N. Nice pass, high low is Denny. A little bit of contact there, but uh, Florence drops that over the backside to Denny. And uh, it was a great play until the block. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, I interrupted you. So anyways, go on to their website, www.socen.com. If you click on the Internet tab, and then down at the bottom there will be a speed test. Run that speed test. See what kind of speed you're getting there at your house. It might surprise you. Yeah. Um, and then you can kind of gauge what you might need to do on your plan. Absolutely. They can also upgrade your router, your wireless. Yeah, set you up on a wireless network in your home. Very easily done. Say it with a password. Put filters on if you need it. Yep. You know, that's a concern for parents. Is, uh, you know, the type of things kids can get into on there. South Central can actually help you set up uh, internet filters for inappropriate content to protect your family. Florence. Florence just rims out. Florence makes it first. Lawrence, second shot on the way, good. Oh, she just stepped across the line, I wasn't sure. They almost didn't call it. No way, who <laughs> stepped across the line? Sherwood had the ball out of bounds. Was it no, Monticello she should, Ball? It was Monticello Ball to begin oh, with. Oh, so Sherwood was taking it out, and they were counting. Everybody was playing defense. <laughs> really? She stepped across the line, then they called stepping across the line. Then the officials were like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, wrong it was team. wrong team because Florence had just shot the foul shot. Oh, what a good move by that was a good move by Keith, hard of the basket. And now uh, Sharon's going to go to the line shooting too. That's Foul on Tia Florence, her second. Five minutes, well, six minutes to go in the game. So, uh, 5.50 to go in the ball game. Neto drives down the paint, lays it up to the right, and scores. It's Neto's 10th point. The next game on the docket is St. Joe versus Rich. Taken away by Wright. Defended by Deonda. Or Deonda. Rebound Neto. Put back. Rose, tip, picked up by Deonda. Right side, Keith. Rebound taken away by Sh Sharon by uh, Florence. Florence just took it out of her hands. 29-14, 4.48 to go in the ball game. Wright drives, kicks to Sherwood. Rose. So the winner of this game plays Manila tomorrow for fifth place. Rose misses, rebound Chadwick. Gives to Clark. And Monticello wants a timeout. Come from Milford a long ways there uh, three, four years ago. Yeah, it's about an struggled. hour and a half away. 
<laughs> oh, you're. Yeah, it, it is. You know, they <laughs> they were coming in playing as freshmen and the sophomores were like, they're going to be good. Yeah, exactly. And they are. They're a very good team. Uh, well coached. <laughs> um, so it's been fun to watch them. Back to right. Ball's taken away by Deonda. Deonda, right, going the other way. Lays it up in. Neto. Right side. Rose kind of got away with a shuffle her feet there. Sherwood open on the low block and right didn't, didn't see her. Screen. Neto. And they called call for the another charge. Foul. You know, and the Tigers are on that first. Do you have a replay on that, Jonathan? No. We don't have it queued up right now. Sorry about that. We'll take a look at that. Um, the Tigers felt like it was a... Did he just change the call from offensive? Wow, we need a replay on that. Chadwick and Neto pushing down in there. Yeah, a little curious what's going on here. So now they're saying that was on uh, Bay. I thought he threw his fist the other way. He did. <laughs> Neto hits her first one. So uh, they end up calling a blocking foul on Bay and send Neto the line shooting two. Clark, three minutes in the corner. It's Clark, long three. <laughs> Deanda with the re rebound. Hits uh, Keith, tipped away by Neto. Rose gives to Sherwood. Right into Neto, shot up and fouled. You know, we, we talk a lot about the Region 20 team. That's where we're from. Uh, you know, we, we really know don't them. get to see Monticello, Rich, a lot of St. Joe's, a lot of these teams until, until the state, state tournament. tournament. We'll see these teams twice during the regular season, at least. And then in the, well, we at least see them once in the regular season. And then, because uh, I don't make it to all the away games like I should, Dave. <coughs> but the home games and then... Uh, Region rebound tournament. Yeah, in the region tournament, we get to see them all play a couple times. So, cross court Neto, three point shot on the way. Oh, that looked good from this angle. Tipped in. Nice save by Rose. She just got a finger on that, but it was enough to spin it back in. Florence. Oh, that was Rose on that baseline. Kind of. And then oh, Florence saved it in. Saved, yeah, saved then it in Florence, and then Florence yeah. grabbed it. Rose. Rose. Just, Rose a, just a lot of contact out of frustration. Just. Rifles that ball. Her teammates kind of give her a pat on the back. Say, hey, it's all right. 32 16, 219 to go in the ball game. So, Kayla Hughes into the game. Senior for the Buckaroos. Number 21. Down into 1 8. If they don't realign. Or, yeah. I don't understand all that. Nice shot by Keith. Lays it up with her left hand off the glass. Number 20 in for the Tigers. Ah, we, sorry, we don't have a number 11. Their numbers. Pass into Davis. Turnaround jumper, baseline short. Re rebound. 
jump ball. All her name possession goes to Tigers. Rebound Sharon, and that was uh, number 20 who tied it up. So all five starters on the bench for the Milford Tigers. And, uh, ba and really, let's see, four starters on the bench for, no. And there's going to be a foul on uh, Hughes. Minute 34 to go in the game. Denny inbounds. Dribbles out of bounds. 1.28 to go. Keith Deonda drives down the paint, gets past defenders, lays it up with the right hand for a bucket. Denny crossover, oh, hard right. screen. Yeah, that was a hard. Screen. That'll put uh, Denny at the line, shooting one and one. Minute five to go, thirty-two to twenty. Makes the first and the second. You're on that, Dave. Blocking foul on Davis. 53 seconds to go in the ball game. So St. Joe and Rich scheduled to tip off in about 15 minutes as soon as this game's over. Corner, Keith, three-point shot on the way. Long rebound over the top to Sharon. Another long rebound, loose, picked up by Davis. And there's gonna be a foul on Deonda. Put number 11 for the Tigers, the line. Apologize, they don't have, Tigers don't have the numbers on their players. So. We thought we were okay, because you know, we know most of the, or a lot of the names for the Milford Tigers. We were just bragging about that a second ago, Dave. Yeah. Now we're, now we're caught up here without. our words. Shots off the mark, 35 seconds. Shot up, rebound number 20. Yeah, it's gonna go off her leg. Number 25 set to check in for the Tigers. That's Wood for the Tigers, number 25. Wood, Taylor Wood, senior. So that'll be one and one, 24 seconds to go. Long rebound, jump ball. Lob over the top, Deonda. Clark, three point shot short. 12 seconds to go in the ball game. 34 20 lead for the La Milford Lady Tigers. Seven seconds to go. Is 
Caitlin Clark with the foul. That's her third personal, ninth team. Number 11 is Sherry Pechtel. So Pechtel makes the first. Second shot on the way, long rebound. Pechtel almost gets it. And a reach in foul. That's Haley Netto, or Bailey Netto, number 20. Okay, so Sharon makes her first. That'll do it. 35-22. Milford Tigers advanced. 